three, two, one. I, I, I find often when I talk about this and preach to congregations and so on, you get some people who say, oh, this is weird. This wasn't what I was taught in Sunday school. I'm not sure about this. And other people who say, hey, that's really interesting because I was reading that bit in the Bible and I didn't understand how it worked. And now you've given me a framework which does make sense of it. So I get those two reactions and others in between. But I think particularly people begin to realize that this makes sense of a lot of what the Bible says about who we are here and now, that being creatures of space and time and matter is not a bad thing from which we should escape. This is God's good world, but it's phase one of a project that God is going to complete. And so what we do in the present matters in terms of works of justice and mercy, in terms of holiness, in terms of all sorts of things. It all matters because God is going to renew it all. He's not going to throw it away.